The Bible sometimes speaks of the hiddenness of God. The prophet Isaiah, for example, says, you are a God who hides yourself. And uh, that speaks of the mystery of God, his transcendence. Uh, he is the creator and we are merely the creatures. And there are some things that we do not understand about God. There are some mysteries of his sovereignty that he has not fully revealed. There are things about God that you would have to be God to fully understand. Uh, so the hiddenness of God is a, a mystery for us to worship, uh, something that we should hold in awe. But, but it should also be said that the hidden God is also a God who reveals himself. Uh, there's a marvelous verse uh, laid in the book of Deuteronomy. In fact, it's uh, a verse that was underlined in the Bible that my grandfather gave me. Uh, the secret things belong to the Lord, but the things that have been revealed belong to us and to our children forever. And uh, that's, that's the, the kindness and the compassion of God that he reveals himself to us, the things that we need to know for salvation, uh, the things that we need to know to be able to worship him and serve him. These things are plainly revealed in the Bible. Uh, so that we, uh, at the same time that we acknowledge God's transcendence, his high majesty, the mystery of his hiddenness, we also know him in an intimate and close and personal way because he has revealed himself in the word, uh, including in the incarnate word, his son, Jesus Christ.